Hey, hi, hello there, how's it going? In today's video, we'll be covering how to download Dragon Block C for Minecraft. Now, this is for the newest version of Dragon Block C. I know they've updated it recently. This guy looks pretty new. I don't think I've ever seen this guy in the older version. What the heck? Yo, dude, hey. Oh, yo, okay, we're going down together. Yo, who's that? Who's this guy? Yo, have they added new care? What the? So I wanna show you how to do it exactly for single player. If you are interested in how to download this for the Dragon Block C Jin game server, I have a video for that. If you wanna learn how to create your own free server, uh, host it online for free, I also have a video for that linked in the descriptions below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. You wanna to go to jingames.net, so that's just dl.jingames.net. You wanna type that in the address bar, or you just go to Google and type Dragon Block C, and it should be this first link right here, which is .jingames.net. So, on this page, you will see that there's a Minecraft Downloads tab. Go down to Dragon Box C and click Downloads and Installations. Now, once this page loads up, you'll notice that there's a tab set to 1.7.10. That's the version of Minecraft you're gonna be using. Uh, so just make sure that's selected. Go down here and you'll notice that you are selected Dragon Box C. You don't have to click anything. That's just an auto set. And then there's three files you need to download, which is this JRM Core, JBR Client, and Dragon Box C. You need all three of these. Uh, in your mod folder to play, so you need to install each one separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install on each one. So once you click that, you'll get a little downloads button here. Click download. It might ask you to save it in your downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Next thing you wanna do is go back and click the next one. Now here, just go ahead and click download. Save to your downloads folder. Okay, go back once again and click Dragon Block C and download one more time. All right, so we downloaded everything we needed from the Dragon Block website. You can go ahead and close that. Now, the next thing you need to do is download a mod called Forge. Now, the one you need specifically for Dragon Block C is Forge 1.7.10. So if you type that in Google, you should automatically get linked to that version of Forge by clicking this link. And you should notice that it says Minecraft Forge MC 1.7.10. If you don't see this and see like a newer version, like 17 or 18, those are up here, you need 1.7.10, so on the left-hand side, just go ahead and click this right here. Just go ahead and select this, you should be good. And then just go ahead and click download latest by clicking the installer. Now you're just gonna wait for five seconds for this skip button to appear, and all you have to do from here is just click skip. Once you click skip, it should download automatically to your folder. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and what you wanna do is install version 1.7.10, now, if you've never played uh, that version, you probably don't have it installed. So you'll probably have a 1.8 or something else. And you'll notice that, you know, you have different versions that you've played before in this little tab over here. To add a new version, just go up to the installations tab right here. You want to go to new installations. And from here, you want to go ahead and name it whatever you like. I'm going to call it 1.7.10 to make it simple. Click down this versions drop down menu and then look for version 1.7.10. Okay, right here you'll see a version called release 1.7.10. So I'll go ahead and click that and then click create. Now go back to the main menu. Now you need to go ahead and change it from 1.18 down to 1.7.10 and then simply click play. Now that we have Minecraft 1.7.10 installed, you can just simply quit it. We need to do this to install Forge. From here you wanna go ahead and open up your downloads folder and you'll notice that you have four mods that you installed, uh, the three Dragon Box C related mods and Forge. Now we wanna go ahead and install Forge. You can go ahead and double click it. And if that doesn't work, go ahead and right click and go to open with. Now, once you go to open with, you should notice that Java is installed here and you should be able to click okay. If you don't see this, that means you don't have Java installed. You need to download it um, from the official Java website. This is not Java Minecraft. This is the actual Java platform provided by Oracle. And I provided the link below so you can go ahead and do that if you don't see this. But I'm gonna go ahead and double click it. And what you'll get is this little installer window and click install client. Click OK and click OK. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft Launcher and you'll notice that if you install Forge correctly, you'll have 1.7.10-Forge installed. Now, sometimes this doesn't automatically pop up. You might have to look for it in this little window. If you still don't see it, you wanna go ahead and repeat that step we did before through installations, uh, go new installations and you just wanna find uh, where that is. Sometimes it's not in the right order. You might see it at the very bottom like this. Anyway, I have that installed and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click play. Now, once this opens up, you'll notice that you have mods, uh, a new button in the menu uh, to click, and this is where your mods will be saved. So let's go ahead and quit the game and add the mods that we installed on our downloads folder into the mods folder in Minecraft. Go ahead and quit the game. Now, we need to get to the Minecraft folder first, so we wanna click Windows plus R. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna open up the run menu, and in here you wanna type percentage sign app data percentage sign backslash dot Minecraft. And once you do that, it should get you into the Minecraft folder like this. 
uh, you wanna go down to mods. And once you open up, you should notice that the folder is empty. Go ahead and open up your downloads folder and you wanna select the three Dragon Block C related files and you wanna move it. Just drag it simply to the mods folder and you should be good to go. It basically copy and paste it or cut and paste it. And you don't need the forge anymore. So you can go ahead and delete this and this little text document that got created. That's not necessary. It's already downloaded on your computer. Um, so right there, those should be in the mods folder. And we're gonna go ahead and run Minecraft once again, click play. All right, in here, click mods. And you'll notice that you have uh, Dragon Block C, you have this Jinru Jerem Core, you have Jinru's better render add over here. So these are the, the mods you needed. Click done, that's not important. It's just to double check that they actually installed correctly. And in this case, they have. Next thing you wanna do is click single player, create a new world and call this whatever you like. And you know, you can change the game mode from survival or whatever. And click more world options, allow for cheats, sure, whatever, and then create a new world. Here we are, you will get the readme for the mod update. Um, that means it looks like it installed correctly. And I am in a cliff or on a cliff, I should say, somewhere high up. This is high up. Okay, so it looks like it works. You just wanna click V and you wanna open up this menu and you know select whatever you wanna be. Uh, sand default skin. Uh, right now this is the default skin I've chosen in Minecraft. You wanna change that. Whatever. Okay, so go to next. Uh, you want to change this from natural to key. Uh, and then you, from here, you can click martial artist, spiritualist, warrior, whatever, um, and click next. I do have a video on how to actually play Dragon Block C. If you're confused, uh, I'll go ahead and link that in the descriptions below as well. But um, I have a whole separate video on that. So go ahead and accept. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install Dragon Block C, the newest version, which you probably want to do because the newest version gives you some additional features in the config folder. So I highly recommend using the newest version unless you're playing on the official Jin Games Dragon Block C server. Hopefully you uh, learned a thing or two. And if you have any recommendations for any tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, who are these guys? Is it Ninja? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I actually love that we like landed in uh, Dirty Study Biome right off the bat. Yes. See ya.